previously on the Sun City. This is a shocking turn of events. I don't know if I should be happy or worried. Well, I think you should be worried and curious to know what inspired such generosity. You know Barrister Edwards and I are friends. So I convinced him to tweak the will in your favor. Because I knew that if Callista got a hold of this place, like your father wanted, it, it would be in ruins within months. I'd like both of us to run this business together. I'll be the CEO and you'll be an executive partner. And that position comes with an official car, an official house, um, and other fringe benefits. Sun City, you're welcome. Come with me and I will take you away. <laughs> you want to trust this place in my care? Why not? <laughs> so, you're not scared that I will ruin your empire before you get back? <laughs> Very funny. Um, the workload would be increased. All I need you here to do is just be the boss and oversee things. Uh -huh. Okay, done. If it's to be the boss, <clears throat> ah, by all means. <laughs> What's the idea behind Fiona employing Kalista? Should have asked her yesterday when she introduced her to all the staff as the new executive member. If only she knew what's going on between them. I don't know how Fiona could be so clueless for this long. But Kalista is doing her man. And now that she works here, that they will even have more time for their escapades. I beg, I beg. That's the wahala. When are we going to get the right candidate for this our stuff? It's taking too long, go. JT, you know good things take time. But I have four people on my target list. They used to be our regulars, but it's been long since any of them came around. Then maybe we should be targeting someone else. And it has to be the right person that we are sure can give us the kind of money we need. We can't make a sense tip of somebody who doesn't have money to pay us for our silence. That would be totally pointless. I'll clean your label. Try it. Supposed to be sitting on the chair, not on the table. Says who? Proper office conduct. <laughs> Did I remind you that I am now the executive so I can sit anywhere? <laughs> well, you were right about that. <laughs> No, sir. I came to clean here. That's you I not, sir. So I'm deaf now, eh? So maybe. You get out. Just get out. He's going to tell Fiona when she returns. No, he won't. How would you know? Yes, sir. 
Then if you don't have to keep your mouth shut about things that put you in trouble. How do you mean, sir? Now tell me, what did you see in my office when you barged in this morning? Nothing, sir. How's it going over there? Yeah, it's going well. How are you? How's Abuja? It's okay. Um, look, I'm calling because you would have to go represent me at a meeting on Monday. You will be back on Monday? I'm going to be here for a while, and sincerely, I do not know how long. What exactly did you go to in Abuja? I think my father was murdered, and I'm here to find out the truth. You think your father was murdered? How did you come about that? I have my reasons and my suspects. You already have suspects? Yes. And you won't believe who my suspects is. Who? You cannot tell anyone what I'm about to tell you, Chris. No way, you can trust me. I think my mother killed my father. What? Fiona tell you why she went to Abuja? No, she just said she wanted to see the family doctor for the real cause of my father's death. Do you also think he was murdered? Excuse me? Is that what Fiona told you? No, 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 not at all. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, why would she still want to clarify something about someone that died three years ago? To search me, like, I really don't get Fiona. I really don't know what she's trying to clarify because dad died of a heart attack. Did the, the, the doctors confirm that? No. Oh. I'm sure it's very difficult for your mom to live with him, without him. Yeah. yeah. She misses him. But it wasn't that they were the perfect example of happily ever after. How do you mean? They said I have issues. About what? Mom had some complications while giving birth to Fiona, and the doctor said she couldn't have any child anymore. But Dad really wanted a male so bad. He started having an affair. Mom found out, and all hell was let loose. Things never remained the same between them. And, you know, it got really worse when Dad started suspecting my mom that she was having an affair just to get back at him. Wow. 
Two wrongs don't make a right, you know. Never. But now with my mom. She's very vindictive. Like I can't count how many times she slapped me or threw things at me every time I misbehaved. <sighs> that woman. But my dad, God bless his soul. He never touched me. He never raised his hands against me. Not even for once. Welcome to Pier One seat, sir. Do have a wonderful stay. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah. Yes, sir. Do you want me to help you buy something? No, it's just a tip. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. What's your name? My name is Joshua Thompson, sir. But people call me JT. JT, can you do me a favor? Yes, I can. Can you tell me whenever someone new checks into this hotel? How do you mean, sir? I want you to come tell me when someone new checks into this hotel. Are you expecting someone? No, no, not at all. I just need you to keep your ears and eyes open when someone checks in. You know, the details of how he or she looks like. And I'll be glad if you can manage to take a picture of that person and come show me. You can add please to the tip. Okay, sir. I'll try, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. You are giving Thank you, sir. Hello? The eagle has landed safe and secured. All right, then. Come with me and I will take you away. Have a bit. Where did you go? I'm using my duty in the kitchen. And I've handed over reception to Akuna. See, is there a way you can go back to the reception and let Akuna go to the kitchen? Why? Oh, the new lodger wants me to inform him when anybody checks in. Is he expecting some friends to come in or what? He said he wants to know whoever checks in after him. That's strange, you. I, but I can't help you. You still need to go talk to Akuna. You know that Akuna and I are not in good terms now. And you're like my only buddy in this hotel. Just try and help me, beg her. Let her go back to the kitchen. You go to the reception. Ah, to the do Shakara safe. Uh, uh, wait first. Is this errand for free? No. Guy gave me 2K. You should have said that since now. Oh well, yeah. Give me my own cuts from the offering. Okay, we can discuss other issues. I don't have change. Change for what? How much do you want to give me? 500 naira now. Eh? No way. 50, 50. 1,000 naira is my share or no deal. What if I had lied that it was 1,000 naira the guy gave me? Well, too bad you're not that smart.
Hi, Mom. How are you, Callista? I'm good. What is Fiona doing here in Abuja? Mm, why didn't you ask her? She claims she's here for feasibility study of some business venture. But I have it on good authority she's been having secret meetings with the family doctor. Is something wrong with Fiona? Something like what? Is she sick? I asked her and she denied ever going to see the doctor. I don't know why she would lie to me. Mom, nothing is wrong with Fiona, okay? She's just been going to see the family doctor as regards that actual cause of death. What? Well, after he came to Lagos and gave her some good sister dose, she turned to a new person overnight and she told me some days ago that she was going to see the doctor that she actually has good cause to think dad was murdered. I thought she told you. No, she did not. She's not even sleeping at the house with me here in Abuja. She said she came with a team of professionals and she would like to stay at a hotel with them. And I don't know what's going on, Mom. Never mind. I'll find out myself. Thank you. Okay.
Who's that guy over there? Don't look at him. He's a lodger here and he checked in yesterday. Mm. Is he a regular? No, this is first time of lodging here and he booked the room for a week. That'll be all, thank you. Excuse me. Just a moment. What was that lady asking you? Nothing that concerns you. She was just talking to me about work. She works here? Yes. Her sister owns the hotel and she's an executive partner. Next, Anderson City. I just met him drinking alone by the bar. I decided to chat him up a bit. So, in other words, you threw yourself at him? I don't like that. Did you throw yourself at him? It is wrong for you to think that there's, there's a future between us and hence you stop me from making friends. Alistair, how long are we going to keep going on about this? We'll keep going on and on about it until you get it clear. For goodness sake, Chris, we were lucky not to have been caught. But I think we should stop before we get caught. <laughs> Good thing. Ah, I don't mind semo and vegetable. Mm. How would you want it? Would you like fish? Meat or something. Can I have all? You mean you want meat, fish, and assorted? Yeah, it's good for balanced diet now. Yeah, not bad. That will cost you 3,200 naira plus one big bottled water. Or would you prefer beer to the meal? <laughs> 